Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, got this old antique tiller sitting over here against the wall. It's been here about six months or so. And I can't remember what the backstory on it was. I believe it was sitting in a garage or a barn for like the last 40 or 50 years. Whether it was run when, running when it got put away or it had damage and then was put away and never used again. I think uh, now is a good time for us to go find out. So let's go drag this thing over to the bench and uh, have our way with it and see if we can bring it back to life. Wow. Oh, it's gonna be tight. There we go. We're in. Let's get a better look at it. It's called a Super Tuffy Planet Junior. That means there's a senior. And this is a small version. It's fairly heavy for its size. I was surprised. But everything is. Nothing's on a pla is plastic, you know. You you get a year off the motor. Not sure. Sixty nine. I don't know if it gets another attachment in the front. Looks like something might go in here. Yeah, super toughy. Looks like Planet Junior up there. Two sets of gears. So we got what's going to be the on off? Maybe the belt. Something's got to put it in drive and out of drive. And I don't know if that's just for taking the handle right off or maybe locking a differential. What's that? I would say throttle and then whatever this does. Yeah, bet you, bet you it pulls this whole section back when it's free and tightens and loosens the belt to make it go. Here's, this is always a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Doesn't smell terrible, but I think it's just so old. Gas has been out of that for so long. There's just really no, no remnants. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, has it run in a week or two. So this one's gonna need some love. Alright, let's go pop you in a stand. I don't see you want to see anything else. Old looking grips are pretty cool, huh? Be even good good for a bike project. If it's uh too far gone. Exhaust is rotted out on it. Throttle moves. What the choke. Missing the air cleaner. That's the kill right there. Not set up right. I guess you gotta put your tongue across it to short it out. Or the somebody put a taller plug in, they had a lower plug in at one time. Ah, it's a genus stand. Think it turns? <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> Just gotta plug out of it and uh, see if it gets some oil down inside. Huh. Not even tight. So maybe it was here ahead of us. Yeah, let's get a little bit of oil in there. This is a uh, Marvel Mystery Oil. The thing is, the, uh, the valves are over here, flathead, the cylinder. 
Don't go anywhere. Cylinder's over here. And you kind of want to let it sit on level. <laughs> Prop it up with something. Because you want it to touch the, be sitting even on top of the piston. Sometimes you don't have a choice, you know, you got like a V. A V something, and it's in something. A little high. There we go. We're going to let that set. We're going to go on the other side and uh, see if we can get something on the pulley over there because more than likely we have to spin it backwards to get it to go. If it'll go at all, it could be blown up or all we know. Don't want to get any dirt in there. It's a little bolt or anything sticking up, but it doesn't look like anything runs on this sheave. Got two of them. Let's go see if. There it goes. <laughs> Grab the plug wire. Uh, I think I'm going to take the pull start cover off and we're going to look, make sure that it's not the magneto that's dragging. And sometimes the corrosion on them, especially if it's aluminum and steel, the magnets kind of corrode and pop off and get stuck on the uh, flywheel or vice versa. So let's go just pop that off. That way we're not kind of crushing that stuff. If that is what the case is. I have a feeling that pull start is not going to come off because of the tire. So let's see, just take bets on whether that's going to come off the axle. What do you think? I'm giving it, uh, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to be optimistic. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I win so far. That's the, uh, got a ratcheting set up in it. Probably pulls in one direction and you can back off on the other. Or so maybe you can turn. I'm not sure yet. All right, let's get the cover off. I see a bolt there and a bolt there. Let's, uh, I would think just one on top too, but it's got some kind of weird extra cover up on it. Let's go take these two out first and see if it's even an issue. I need me a magnetic tray. There's one. This comes back, I like to just kind of rub it down with oil or shellac. It looks got a cool look to it. Yeah, let me say. Yeah, on the bottom. Let's go pop these top two screws out. I don't suspect we got another one in there. I would think there'd be one on the bottom too, but I don't see any. Remember that one went there. No, we're not. <clears throat> not with that screwdriver. Right. Actually, let's see that, that bit there a little. Your turn. I think so. I'm only gonna fight the whole way, huh? Can we get the cover to? There's no hardware holding that anyway. Actually, that screw is holding the cover right there. You can see the little bridge riveted on so this side opened up. So you must come out. We're in. 
screw didn't like it very much. That side wasn't connected. Oh, it broke off. It's riveted on. That side's riveted on. Alright, you gonna let us in now? And we got one in the back. Still more to go. I don't see any more. How about a little gentle nudging? Watch out for the, the vein that's in there. Our governor. I wonder if the pull start is. Yeah, I think the pull start seized on the shaft. There it goes. Yep, that's why we pulled her out. <laughs> Go figure, a nest. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's nest or if that's just dirt. Nah, it's nest that rotted away. Yeah. yeah, definitely the magneto was just kind of smashed into the the crap that was on it. Not saying that's still not seized, but definitely got to go clean that out. Let me get that off of there. Yeah, it's got to come apart anyway. That is gummy. You fire that up, it spit the cord rag it out, and it scream like crazy. Hear that? Yeah, that's the noise it'll make. Make a little turn. <laughs> More than one. You want to pop the head off? Or the magneto? I'm kind of starting to think now it's it's in the cylinder. Ready? Go to back out of that front cover. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's gonna need some love. You see it? Yeah. I think it might have been holy. Holy. I'm surprised that thing even moved. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, that might be uh, a little bit of the bore missing. How much mud? Wow. Good thing we put oil in it, huh? Ooh, that's going to look rough on that cylinder. Right, let's go get that cleaned out of there and see what we got. Let's see if that piston even moves. You know what it is? It's going back and forth through bottom dead center. It's just the crank is just kind of rocking on the bottom of its stroke. Pistons all the way down, which is uh, not a good thing for it. I think this thing might... Uh, <laughs> it's giving me a miracle if this one runs. Let's get the oil out of it first, or if there isn't any even in it, or water or whatever. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those jobs. Let's see if we can get something a little better on there. I think it's one of those times where flat jaw vice grips actually come in handy. Compared to the curved ones that you know, round it off more. I'm not saying I'm not gonna round it off, but we'll give it a fighting chance anyway. Is it a bad sign when the drain plug that's supposed to be backed by oil is rusted in? You think water or nothing? Or oil? I'm gonna go with water. Or nothing. 
leave it forward. Water. Yeah, that is just not good for preservation. I think this thing's out in the rain for a day or two. Yeah, it looks like three bolts. One here, two in the back. And we'll get that little engine right out of there. Throttle cable. I think that's it. And then we'll pop the uh, oil pan off and we'll see what we got on the bottom end. Last one. Can't even get the uh, French head around it. Top you can't, on the bottom you can't. Going in. Get on there. So while the cable was rotted out on the top side, so I just took it right off. Cut was left of it. This thing didn't sit inside a barn. This thing held up, held the door shut on the outside. Should be good to go. Belt off. And there's a little greasy football. We'll clean up some room and dissect it. I guess that was a nice little little desk job to work on now. Let's get Got two bolts holding the oil pan on. So it's got a piece of fuel line with a cat in the front by the oil fill. I'll show you in a second. That right there. What's up with that? That's what's up with it. Okay. <laughs> the things that happen to power equipment over their lifetime, right? Someone's loved machine, they bought it new. Somebody bought it at the estate sale. Ran it for a year, left fuel in it, left it leaning against the barn. And 50 years later, we get it. Yeah. What do you think this is going to look like? <laughs> Come on. It's holding me. Just, just Dallas. There it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not what you want to see for oil. Let's go look at the ass end. Yeah. Still all there. Thing is, are we ever going to be able to get that piston out? Can we get the piston out through the bottom? If we take the crank and everything out of the way, I don't. I don't know. At least it wasn't like I was expecting to see like the, the cam just like looking like the jug did, you know. The gears got crap on. I'm going to bring it over to the parts washer. I should probably take the magneto and the carburetor off of it too. Yeah. Smooth. <laughs> that is uh, definitely got some issues. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go get the car. We should have two screws we can go in and get one there and one back down uh, there. Let's get that bottom one to crack. Yeah, that's good. Unfortunately, that's the easy one. Okay, that's the easy one, yeah. Because the other one, you really don't have a straight shot with a screwdriver to get. Yeah, there. Yeah, Torn even tight. It's the first one on this machine that hasn't been. That's why I need a small jar. Anyway, the linkage of the governor. Well, it's sat with no air cleaner, and more than likely it's just outside rain. Went right in the car, broke down the intake valve. The cylinder was down. Filled it right up and went past the rings, probably filled up the bottom of the crankcase, and then it sat dry again over there for six months. It probably just some of the water evaporated off of it. Let's put a muffler before I slice the crap out of myself on that. Yeah, yeah. do it now before later on you'll see me with tape on my fingers. You're wondering why. Let's get that coil off of there first, Magneto. So you don't bash up the wires are kind of sensitive. This is the governor air vein. This thing that's supposed to move nice and free. That hooks to the throttle as the fan blows across and the air exits the engine. Uh, the more air flows through, it slows down the carburetor. The less air flows through, it speeds up the carburetor. And it slows down when you're putting a load on it. And then so the airflow slows down. It gives it more throttle and it tries to maintain it. Generally kind of evens out. Gingerly. Oh, I got a wire going down to the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that has points. Go figure. Oh, my whole thing's got to come apart anyway. I'm going to go throw a screw or two back in there. I was hoping the wire would flip off. I don't see it. I don't want to break the wire on the mag. So I'm going to work my way into where the points are underneath. You know you're going in, you know, get the big tray for your hardware. It's a one-way clutch for the pull start. And it's also the nut. For the, for the whole thing. I might go grab it. The engine's not going to turn anyway, right? So let's do it so we don't break the tab off, though. So, uh, there go. more of an anchor than a door holder it's there's a shaft inside here that's supposed to spring freely on and I think that's what we're stuck on I don't think we're yeah 
it's bound up on that. All right, let's see. We get ourselves a little pry bar screwdriver underneath there and go whack the face of that and get it to pop. Who's your daddy? All right. Get that cover off. Give me a points and condenser underneath there. wire goes up through there. I'm going to put the screws back on there and leave that alone for now. See the points going to open? Oh man, they got, <laughs> they got a better look at that. They're pretty gummy. Just like goo. Oh yeah. <laughs> they got a better look. Let's see if it'll focus for you. <laughs> That's about the worst I've seen. I think this whole motor is about the, the worst I've seen as far as neglect. Poor thing. All right, I'm going to go put a couple screws back in there, wash it, and then we'll decide what we want to do from that point. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the human meat tenderizer hanging off of it. Let's see if we can get that star nut to spin. How about I take my little flapper disc, we just clean the edge of that right off of there. Watch your eyes. Good. Hey, give it a quickie wash anyway. Let's see if we take these four bolts out and get the whole magneto. Send me right out. It's any more. Let's go find out. It needs a little. You think any of the hardware going through? Go find out. I wouldn't think so. Good though. Hey, why, why wouldn't it be loose? Nothing else is. Yeah, it looks pretty shallow to me. Yeah, that's not holding up. And that one's not. I don't think the points one is either. Someone who's had this apart already. One of these apart is probably yelling at me. I want to crack it. Cool. 
to put. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I can see the, through the top all the way up. Nothing's holding it there. Just in case I'm being an idiot, let's get that last uh, point. That's nah, short too. Not it. She's just really stuck on there. Crank doesn't go through it, no. I'm gonna take an air gun, blow some of that crap out of the way. Shove a paint scraper in there. Moving. Let's go a little fatter. I want to gulp those surfaces in there, you know. Go big or go home.
crank is just so rusted to it. I'm going to try wetting that maybe. Tapping it back down and maybe I could do the same with the front now that the seal is back far enough. Hmm. It's just not much you could put a puller on. You can't use any of this. This is just going to break away on you. the whole connecting rod and crank moving. <clears throat> I mean, uh, if the vice goes wide enough, maybe we'll go pop it in the vice. I should have done that in the first place, huh? stuck well oh, this poor engine <laughs> right. let's see probably should get the dipper off of there because that's hanging out we'll get, keep that from stabbing ourselves a half a seven sixteenths I say it's seven but I only have a half. And if I didn't have the, if I didn't have the seven. It would have been a half. Oh, I gotta get the I gotta tap the little keeper out of there. you tell me no you didn't I get the wrench on there all the way Might as well should be able to get the other one get that cap right off of there judging by how bad that crank was rusted to the front case cover Then again, it's, well, that should have been two brass and steel or aluminum and steel. I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Though. I have to get that keeper tapped away. So I'll relocate you a little bit better spot. Plus, you're a little too high. Some of you are, anyway. Yeah. See now? How about now? Relax. Have a seat. Enjoy your stay. I think they'll get a socket in there. Make it an eighth of a turn. As long as you can get the crack. Going into the bowels. What do you think? I think it's gonna be totally toast. Oh yeah. I'm gonna wager that it's decent. Well decent for this motor. I mean, gonna She's not going to be any prize winner. And then again, if the cap doesn't come off, go get the little love tap right. <laughs> I 
Remember what I said about it being pretty good? I take that back. I'm looking for the, the flat putty. There we go. Let's see if we can get into the flat putty nice. like though. It's a pitting. She's a pitting. Yeah, of course they didn't mark that cap when I took it off. I could probably tell by stain. Yeah, let's see. Where I put my little mark. It's out. It may have a marking already on it, but all right, that was out. that crank will move. Let's go get a little brass rod. We'll, we'll tap so we can get that. Actually, you know what? Let's try to rotate it backwards. See if the crank, the... Nah. Brass rod. I was thinking if it was stuck, it was gonna, it could spin away. Let's just see if we can. Problem is, I think the valves might be so stuck that the cam can't turn. So we can get that rod out of the way. Crank out. I get that piston. It looks like straight down. It sure isn't going up. Yeah. This is not going to help it much. Is the rod not hitting anything? That is just a rod so seized in the piston that it doesn't want to swing. So either the rod has to move or the crank has to move out of the way. Uh, I hear the valves are rocking up and down. Let's go see if they are moving a little. I had a big enough thing of evaporus, I'd sit the whole thing right in it, but I don't at the moment. I got some. That might be a plan. I don't want to quite give up. Probably pop that lifter cover off. Let's get that out of there. I'm not sure we're gonna see. We may see more nastiness. You see? You guys are kind of starting to slouch over there a little. Piece of hardware. This thing was like, <laughs> was in the ocean, not the lake. 
every hardware is it just drags coming out. Hey, you know, that's just not going to pop off with your fingers, no, do you? <laughs> oh, I thought it was full of crap. I see there is some crap. It's just a cover over it. I thought that was a... It's full. Yeah, I think I'm pretty right. It's full of crap. That's the breather. All right, case breather. One ching, big chunks of the rest are falling out of it. How many you're saying right now? Why are you even bothering? Why not? Yes, it's, it's the challenge. Yeah, I think that valve was gonna move. Or that one. I think we should probably try soaking it. Might be our best bet. I'm going to work a little bit more and get some de-rusting gook and kind of shoot it up inside there and uh, let it soak a little bit see if we can kind of get stuff to move a little bit you know, kicking out chunks the size of Small cats. Let's go try PB this time. Put your eyes. Get them so they're filled up over. So I'm tempted to just let it sit overnight. The other thing too is, well, maybe, I'm not sure that we can get that crank out of there in the position that it's in. So it may, it may need to have the valves free up. And we can't get that cam out of there. get it to pop off. It's almost there.
thought for a second the piston would be moving, but it's not. All right, so it looks like it has a pin going through that top camshaft, the camshaft. It's a pin from here. Looks like it goes through and can come out there. So let's try tapping on that. See so if we could drive that out of there. And if we can get that out of there, we can get a little bit more room for stuff to turn. I'm not sure if that's what's stopping us or not. I have a feeling it's the piston. It's so at the bottom of the stroke. Either way it kind of goes, there's just not enough room for the, the crank to to escape. You know what I mean? I know I'm waddling you around. But let's try driving that out, see what happens. It actually looks like the head is fatter on that side than this side, so I would have think it would have went the other way, but maybe not. I'm moving. Refuse to look it up. I don't want to. Again, that could be just so seized in there. And I think this looks like it's larger on this side than the other. I ate it to the punch. I think, that's hard to say, I think we should see if we can get some evapo rust and soak the thing. Maybe we'll call this one quits here and I'll show it however it makes out. I don't give it <laughs> much of a chance, but who knows. Let's look at that piston wall. It's just flaking off in layers. It's, it's giving itself a 30 overboard. Sleep well, my rusty friend. Hey guys, how's it going? We're continuing on with this uh, Briggs 6S that is on a rototiller, not a rototiller, a tiller. And uh, I believe it was underwater for a very long period of time. The engine is frozen. And about 20 hours ago, put it in some evapor rust. And I, this was just spacers. Let's try to get the fluid level to go a little higher. Let's go see how it did. Continue carrying the torch on this thing to see if we can revive it. Because, can you see? You'll see a lot of, a lot of big scalies on there, but let's go see. Put it over on the bench. And actually, I'm going to hose it off with water first. Then we'll put it on the bench. We'll get over there. We'll re-adjourn over there. See what we got. I rinsed it off with tap water. Let's see what we got. It's cleaner anyway. Clean the glasses. Here we go. Well, that does not look all that much better. That's really. If we can tap the piston down. Not so bad. I don't know if we can or not. And then try to go back and clean it up best we can. Gee, is that a crack? Uh oh, I think it's terminal. Terminal. <laughs> so, it's a slight problem. Yeah, it's got a crack. So this block is done. Unless you want to weld it. 
<laughs> uh, oh well. I see it cracked on there. Oh. All the way around. Pooey. Fail! But we tried. So guys, I would have liked to have been able to carry the torch on this one all the way through. But unfortunately, stuff like that just makes it, you know, the, the whole thing was a, a loss in financially. Anyhow, it was just more for to see the fact to see if we can do it. But yeah. too bad. I was up for the challenge too. But I want to thank all you guys for hanging out with me and uh, enjoying my wah, wah, wah moment. But sometimes that's just the way it goes. Not always winners, but I still enjoy myself. The it's the the attempt of trying to get it, the chase of trying to get something back to life. And if you want every one of them, it wouldn't be as much of a challenge, you know, would it? You gotta have one that just gets you. Guys, later. Well, the good part is, you don't have to be afraid to beat on it anymore. Amazed that that wants to stay on that rod like that. <laughs>